Hey, what's up, everybody? It is Jeff and Jack from Achievement Hunter, and we are presenting Terminal, which is a spell. Ca- <laughs> <laughs> it's a, a spec, spec up. up. I can't even say spec. All right. I got all confused, man. Doing a great job, Jack. I am. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so what are we doing? <laughs> all right. So this uh, this is right at the very beginning of Spec Op uh, Terminal. Gee, I'm stumbling all over myself today. So what I did is I took out these guys and this group of three guys that run out this little side area first. If you stay in that one area, you're not going to trip the rest of the uh, the big open foyer area. And also you're going to pick up your first shield. And this level is all about grabbing these shields. You know, and, uh, we could restart and let you have a, a second shot at not fucking up. No, I, I'm no. not going to do that. I didn't think you would. Yeah. So uh, so what I did, me with the shield down in the bottom right corner, I ran out and tried to trip the uh, sort of the next wave of enemies, and Jeff was supposed to stay back and not get killed, and he failed pretty miserably at that. Oh, yeah. Dude, this this level's trippy, man, because you'll, you'll just be like, you'll have that shield out, which is you're reasonably protected, but you'll be getting shot at by, like, 40 guys. Yeah. And uh, that one right there, I wanted to Everything point out that... Everything's shaking and that guy, smoky. That guy in the upper right corner, he caught me off guard a few times. Because I would run out and he would shoot me in the back, and that was always a bad deal. So, um, there's going to be... Basically, most, most of the waves are going to have a group of guys with weapons, and then three or four guys with shields. Nice. And uh, once you get a shield, you're pretty much never going to get out from behind that shield. Yeah. And so all you got to do is click in, what is it, your right thumbstick? Oh, yeah, I want to point out here how you just mowed me down. Yeah, I shot you. You ran in front of my bullets, dude. <laughs> Dude, I called. Anyway, I called dibs on that space. <laughs> called dibs on that airspace. Yeah, bullet space. So, um, I'm not going to show you the whole video here. What we did because we, we this is another one you have to take your time. Just kind of you know slowly walk your way through it. Make absolutely sure you don't get flanked. Yeah, yeah. That's, Let them that's, come to you. That's one of the keys. So here's your next wave of guys. This would be like wave two, right at the top of those stairs. There's an the elevator to our left to get you a visual idea of where we're at. And what you do is you run forward, kind of trip the guys, and kill as many as you can. And then what you want to do is constantly move backwards. This will help you because you won't get flanked. Um, the guys will always stay in front of you. But see, that guy like snuck up on my left side, and then I walk over and I, I let him kill me. And then I shoot him in the knee like Terminator. <laughs> <laughs> He's not going to die. Um, <laughs> and so then Jeff saved me. And then so the, the guys Story with the story of my life. Yeah, the guys with the shields. It takes what two or three times to drop them. So I just kind of hit them over and over until they go to the ground crying. So that was the second wave. The third wave kind of begins over here by this liquor store. There's some guys behind the counter, and I went ahead and lobbed a grenade back there to try to take out a few to oh, start that was nice. with. Yeah. You know, if they actually did cry, I bet I, I would feel weird killing them. What What would you do if they like begged for if they begged for their life? I would probably let them live. Really? Yeah. What, but didn't you see Saving Private Ryan? <laughs> That's true. I did see Saving Private Ryan. <laughs> up him. He's going to come back and shoot you in the side. Yeah. Or, or no, Up him was a good guy. Yeah. Oh, th- so uh, this year I thought I was going to go left, and Jeff was supposed to go on the right ele- escalators, but he followed me for some reason. And so uh, I ran over to the right side, and th- this is fun. So I said a claymore at the top. And That's then, a lot of dudes. Yeah, there's a lot of guys down there. And when you get a chance, toss a couple grenades down, because the, the guys with shields move pretty slowly and catch them. And so this guy actually, look, he was behind us. He actually got behind us and tried to flank us. Always, always use claymores. Yeah. If They're very, very helpful. It's a free kill almost yeah, every time. The claymores are something that I feel like I didn't take advantage of till towards the end of us playing Spec Ops. So right. There's a flashbang that di- made those three guys dizzy. And I didn't realize this, but you were fighting two guys on the other side. Yes. And uh, while I was fighting these three guys, and I was like, oh, look at me. I just kicked three guys' asses. Oh, look, there's two other guys. Hey, oh! Yeah. Oh, and we got to show this one in, in slow mo. This is what happened. <laughs> so you shot a rocket and you planted it right between these two guys. Look at that! Booyah! You, that you can't get much much better than that. that then was... I redecorated. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and so that, that was actually the final two guys. I love the shield that stays up and then slowly falls over. Aww. So um, yeah, and that's that's the end of it there. So you've got really what is that? Three, four waves of guys, and then um, oh, sure, whatever you can here. take. Make sure to take off your shoes when you're going through the uh, metal detector. Oh, yeah. And once you're on the other side, there we go. Mission success. Congratulations. Yeah, this one was actually a lot of fun. I enjoyed it. Yeah, I did too. Yeah. But these have all been great. So. I just enjoyed spending time with you. Aww.